Vamos estudar um pouquinho de inglês? Ah, vamos sim! Essa lição é gostosa, lição 22. Lesson 22. Você já está chegando lá. Lesson 22. Look here. Lesson 22. Como é que você está se sentindo? Sente que está podendo repetir melhor? Sente que está aprendendo, que está mais fácil? Ah, diga que sim. Follow me para você. Is that the new player? Which one? The small one with the blonde hair. Over there. Look, he's kicking the ball. No, that's Mike Phillips. There's the new one over there. But the tall one, he's wearing number five. Olha só, nessa lição você está aprendendo who is that. Você viu durante o jogo de futebol? Who is that? Ah, não, esse não é. Esse é, esse não é. Então você precisa repetir. Who is that? Come on. Who is that? That. É difícil falar porque sai do S para o TH. Who's that? Com jeito vai. Vamos ver. Outra frase que ele disse, he's wearing number five. Ele está vestindo, wearing, vestindo, usando. Então é camiseta número cinco. He's wearing number five. Repeat. Come on. He's wearing number five. Good. Em seguida, is that your boyfriend? Is that your boyfriend? Repeat. Come on. Is that your boyfriend? Sempre esse exercício, do S para o TH. Is that your boyfriend? Repeat. Is that your boyfriend? Good. Podemos continuar? Mais um trechinho do Follow Me. Hello! And welcome again to the London Quiz. Today, questions about people and what they do. Now, this is Mrs. Walters. Welcome, Mrs. Walters. Mrs. Walters comes from Croydon, near London. She lives in Brixton Road. 23 Brixton Road. Thank you, Mrs. Walters. Now, what does Mrs. Walters do? What's her job? Mrs. Walters will show us, and you will say what she does. She's making dinner. She's cooking. She's a cook in a restaurant. No, she isn't a cook. She's a housewife. She's making dinner for her husband. No, that's wrong too. Now, listen. What is Mrs. Walter's job? I don't know. All right. Mrs. Walters is a hairdresser. She's a hairdresser. Next, Mr. Charlton. Mr. Charlton lives in Birmingham. And what is his job? Look. He works in a garage. No, you're wrong. He doesn't work in a garage. Now, listen. Ow! He's a dentist. Yes! You're right, he's a dentist. Mr. Charlton is a dentist. Now we have Mr. Jones. And what do you do, Mr. Jones?
I don't know. Oh, do you know? Do you know what he does? No. no. Right, now look and listen. He's a f f f. He's a footballer. Footballer. He plays football. Yes! <laughs> Mr. Jones is a footballer. He comes from Tranmere. He plays for Tranmere Rovers and he wears number nine. <laughs> Olha só, um homem de televisão, né? Pois é, eles são assim por lá. Vamos ver o que já está no quadro. Coloquei para você, para você poder repetir mais vezes. Veja só. What does she do? What does she do? O que, que ela faz? To do é o verbo fazer. What does she do? Repeat. What does she do? Good. What's her job? Aqui é a pronúncia do her. What's her job? What's her job? Não vai falar hair, porque hair é cabelo. What's her job? What's her job? Repeat. What's her job? Good. Qual é a sua, o seu trabalho? Qual a sua ocupação? She's a hairdresser. What is a hairdresser? A hairdresser é uma cabeleireira. Yes. To dress é vestir. A hairdresser, uma cabeleireira, faz sentido, né? She's a hairdresser. Repeat. She's a hairdresser. Very good. What's his job? He's a dentist. He's a dentist. Come on. He's a dentist. Repeat. He's a dentist. Good. E mais uma. He's a footballer. What's his job? He's a footballer. He's a footballer. É um jogador de futebol. Repeat. He's a footballer. Então, várias profissões você aprendeu neste trecho do nosso vídeo Follow Me. Vamos continuando? They're footballers and they play for Tranmere Rovers. These footballers played for Tranmere Rovers. And this is Dixie Dean. He played for England, too. Who's that? Which one? The girl with the dog. Oh, that's my sister. She lives in Canada. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> it's a photograph of my husband when he was at school. Which one is he? The tall one at the back. Third from the left. Oh, that's an old photograph. Where are you? That's me at the front, the one with long hair, fourth from the right. How old were you? I was ten. <risos> então, agora vamos ver a pergunta, who's that? Quem é aquela? Veja no quadro, who's that? Tá aqui, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Repeat, who's that? Good. Aí ele diz, qual delas? Which one? Which é usado para escolher entre duas ou mais coisas. Qual? Which one? Repeat. Which one? Good. Who's that? Which one? The girl. Qual é? A menina com o cachorro. The girl with the dog. The girl with the dog. Repeat. The girl with the dog. Ok? Então, which one? The girl with the dog. Alright? Aqui, girl podia ser trocado por one. The one with the dog. Aquela com o cachorro. The one with the dog. Repeat. The one with the dog. Ok? Aqui, the tall one at the back. Quer dizer back? Atrás, at the back, lá atrás, lá no fundo. O que, que é tall? Alta. Who's that? 
Which one? The tall one at the back. The tall one at the back. Repeat. The tall one at the back. Very good. Mais uma frase para você. Há algumas palavrinhas. Os números ordinais. First, second, third. O que quer dizer? Primeiro, segundo, terceiro. Repeat. First, second, third. Very good. Podemos continuar a ver mais um trechinho? Follow me, então. Who's that man? Which man? The one in the dark suit. That's my husband, Henry. No, not Henry. Who's that with him? Who's he talking to? He's talking to Francis Matthews. Francis lives in the next flat. What does he do? What's his job? He's an actor. On television. Hmm. An actor. I like actors. Is he a good actor? She's talking about me. Who? That woman in the funny hat. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Robinson, yes. She likes you, I think. Yes, I'm afraid she does. Good afternoon. I want to see my daughter. What's her name, please? Susan Clark. Miss Susan Clark? No, Mrs. Susan Clark. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Susan Clark. Just a moment, please. Yes, she's in Ward 6 on the fourth floor. You can go up now. Thank you. Is he married? No, he isn't. Do you want to meet him? Yes. Oh, what's the matter? They're coming this way. <laughs> Who? Your wife and that woman. Oh. Francis, oh. this is Mrs. Robinson. How do you do, Mrs. Robinson? How do you do? <laughs> do you like the party, Mrs. Robinson? Oh, Yes, it's a very good party. Now, Francis, tell me about your work. You're an actor, I believe. Oh. What's the matter? Is Francis ill? I don't know. But he doesn't look well. Perhaps he's got a headache. Wait a moment. Francis, you don't look well. You don't look well. You look ill. You look ill. I feel ill. I, I feel ill. What's the matter? Ah, you've got a headache. I think so. Yes, I've got a headache. You need a doctor. But there isn't a doctor here. Oh, yes, there is. Sheila over there is one. Ah, come with me, Francis. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Now, let's look for your husband. He's wearing a blue suit. A very old blue suit. He always wears it at parties. Ah, there he is. He's got a bottle in his hand. Who's that with him? Você viu a conversinha das duas? É, já se interessou pelo moço lá. Então uma fala, quem é aquele? Ah, aquele é fulano. É solteiro? É solteiro. Essa como é? Festa é assim, né? Deixei no quadro umas frases para você treinar. Veja bem. Qual deles você está falando? Which one? The one in the dark suit. What is a suit? A suit é um terno, é uma roupa masculina completa. A suit. Dark é escuro. The dark suit. Do terno escuro. Mas qual deles? The one in the dark suit. Repeat. The one in the dark suit. Good. That's my husband. Esse é o meu marido. Olha só que perigo. Está se interessando pelo marido da outra. That's my husband. Repeat. That's my husband. Good. She likes you, I think. Aqui, na hora em que... 
a moça, a senhora já de idade, se interessa pelo bonitão lá da festa. She likes you, I think. Ela gosta de você, eu acho. She likes you, I think. Repeat. She likes you, I think. Good. I'm afraid she does. Qual a diferença de I think e I'm afraid? I think, eu acho. E I'm afraid é eu acho e estou preocupada com isso. She, eu acho que ela gostou de você mesmo. I'm afraid she does. I'm afraid she does. She does. She does like you. She does and she likes. I'm afraid she does. Repeat. I'm afraid she does. Good. Do you want to meet him? Você quer conhecê-lo? To meet também é encontrar. To meet é encontrar. Mas também é ser apresentado para alguém. Quando você é apresentado para alguém, você diz nice to meet you. Prazer em conhecer. Nice to meet you. Do you want to meet him? Repeat. Do you want to meet him? Good. Do you want to meet him? You don't look well. Aqui quando ele já está com aquela carinha de doente e as pessoas dizem You don't look well. Você está com uma cara ruim, você não está com uma cara boa. You don't look well. I feel ill. I feel ill. Vamos repetir esta primeiro. You don't look well. Repeat. You don't look well. I feel ill. Come on. Eu me sinto doente. I feel ill. Repeat. I feel ill. Good. Continuando, mais um trecho do follow me. Are you ill? I think so, but I don't know. I didn't feel very well in there. You don't look very ill. Perhaps you need some food. Are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? No, not now. Thank you. Are you hungry, Mr. Robinson? Would you like some food? Uh, yes, please. No, my husband doesn't eat at parties. He's too fat. Aren't you, James? I'm fatter than you, dear. Would you like a drink? <laughs> Another drink. Yes, please. I'm very thirsty. Where's Francis Matthews? He's with the doctor. She's giving him some medicine. Take this medicine. You'll feel better. Oh. Oh. You'll feel fine tomorrow. Shall we go back to the party? Or... Uh, uh, yes. Let's go back. I feel better now. I feel better. Então, ela diz aí, are you ill? Você está doente? Ou está fingindo né, que está doente para escapar da velhotinha lá? Vamos ver no quadro. Are you ill? Aqui. Are you ill? Ill é doente. Are you ill? Repeat. Are you ill? Good. I feel better now. I feel be better. É melhor. I feel better. Eu me sinto melhor agora. Come on. I feel better now. Ok? De novo. I feel. I feel. Não vai falar feel. Feel quer dizer preencher. Feel. São duas sílabas. Feel. E esse I é bem ardido. Feel. Ok? I feel better now. Repeat. I feel better now. Good. Perhaps you need some food. O que quer dizer perhaps? Perhaps, talvez, talvez você precise comer alguma coisa. You need some food, você precisa de alguma coisa para comer. Perhaps you need some food. Repeat, come on. Perhaps you need some food. De novo, perhaps you need some food. Good. Continuando, are you hungry? Hungry é com fome. Are you, não é? 
with, com fome. Nós dizemos com fome, em inglês, hungry. Are you hungry? Repeat. Are you hungry? Good. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Tá com sede? Are you thirsty? Repeat. Are you thirsty? Good. Shall we go? Vamos. Então, já que a consulta terminou, vamos para a festa. Shall we go? Repeat. Shall we go? Muito bem. Então, shall we go to the other piece of follow me? Let's. These dogs are greyhounds, and greyhound racing is very popular in England. There are six dogs in every race, and there's dog number three. Before the race, the vet looks carefully at every dog. The vet is a doctor for the dog. The dogs go into the stadium and onto the track. The people who go to a greyhound racing stadium like to gamble. They like to bet with their money. They choose one of the six dogs in the race and then take their money to one of these men, called bookmakers. The bookmaker has the names of all the dogs in every race. Each dog has a name and a number. The dogs go to the start. There's time to try and choose which dog will win. Dog number one goes into the starting trap. The gate is closed and then another dog goes in. The bookmakers write down the starting prices of the dogs and then the race starts. The dogs run after an electric hare which goes round the track. The last dog finishes a long way behind the others. Some people are disappointed. Others are much happier. He's won some money. The winner is dog number four. Second is dog number five. The man gets his money. The dog gets a drink. In this program, we learned you don't look well. You look ill. I feel ill. I feel awful. <sighs> I feel awful too. Why do we have parties? I don't know. Come in. Good morning. Hello, Francis. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm fine. I feel better. I took some of this. Would you like some? No, thank you. Go away. Oh. Sorry. Goodbye. Próxima aula, lesson 23. Ok? Lesson 23. Thank you so much. Goodbye.